get everything so let me show you real quick what it looks like behind here because the speaker box that's behind here is 0.7 cubic foot that's what my uh, subwoofer that I bought calls for so that's what I built did all the calculations already I just kind of want to show you the end product what it looks like so anyway without further ado let's grab it here and just let, just to stop real quick um, before I pull it out this will be permanent I'm gonna actually run some 1708 there and um, across the bottom here and everything I'm gonna 1708 this in place so it will become permanent I don't feel a need to have this as a removable box there's nothing really behind um, this space other than the seat that needs to be removable so yeah I'm gonna glass along that edge as well too so anyway finish pulling this thing out and you'll see here is the box so back here is like I said 0.7 cubic foot of speaker box just needs to be fiberglass and 1708 and that's it but one thing to mention with this is it was all constructed over about a two-day period with nothing but marine grade plywood but you're wondering too like how did I attach the nails or sorry what um, what did I use to attach the wood and I used these type of finish nails they are uh, stainless steel I use these stainless steel nails and you'll see a lot of these nails where they claim to be uh, stainless steel but they're really not um, some of the ones are made in China before you start using these stick a magnet to it if you get a magnet that sticks to a single one of these uh, inch and a half nails or whatever size nails you use probably shouldn't use it but as you can see here let's give you one more look comes out pretty easy my popsicle sticks out of the way here boom sits right into place took me a few days like I said to do all this to measure it this box has been in and out probably three or four hundred times so uh, if you're gonna do something like this here's a good idea but uh, just a recap seven, that's gonna be a 10 inch subwoofer speaker in there and if you're wondering let me show you here on the uh, other side ta-da got another one over here too so this boat will have two 10 inch speakers and just like the other side you can grab here but like I said once this all gets glassed in you're not gonna be able to do this so I'm just doing this now so you guys can see what the uh, speaker box looks like at my boat pull it out this one's got the uh, steering up there so you gotta really wiggle it to get it out Anyway, I'm just gonna use the camera here. But you can see back here. Still needs to get glassed. It'll be sealed, but it's all marine grade plywood, half inch. Put this back in the place. Made the notch up there, all that good stuff. But yeah, 0.7 cubic foot of space. Marine grade plywood, stainless steel nails. So there you go. I'll show you more what it looks like once everything is complete and glassed. But I just wanted to show you in the beginning what it uh, looks like. All right, guys, I got both of the speaker box out here and in the corner so you can kind of get a better angle what they look like. But yeah, this is them. Boy, were these a pain in the butt to make. Some people use MDF, but if you know anything about boats, man, you don't use MDF in a boat. You have nothing but problems. 
if I had to estimate so far with wood, the speaker box would probably end up costing, I don't know, maybe about 50 bucks in marine grade plywood, but you need to get a whole sheet in order to even be able to uh, build these, so full sheet's about 100 bucks.